Hey guys, it's Lucky Girl B, and welcome to my brand new Sims 3 mini Let's Play Black Girl Magic. So, I was thinking of fun Halloween ideas, and I realized that I've never done anything with a witch, at least not like anything in depth with a witch. In fact, I really thought about I've never had like a witch sim be my main witch for like any let's play I've ever done. And I realized I probably don't know a lot about the witches in The Sims 3. So I decided I would mess around with some witchcraft today. So this is my chosen little witch. Her name is Frances Montgomery. And she goes to an elite boarding school called Ivy Academy. So this is her school, obviously it's huge. Um, I guess I'll do a quick little tour. Here's the roof where the seniors like to party. This is the school's storage and junk room. And as you see, there's a little bed in the corner because sometimes the seniors like to get frisky. The third floor, which has a gym, a main hall, the art and music rooms. The second floor, which has a huge library, another main floor, the science and computer labs. The first main floor, which has an auditorium, a great hall, the principal's office, along with his secretary's office, and our cafeteria. Out back is the school parking lot and the dormitories. The girls' dorm, the staff dorm, and the boys' dorm. And our indoor pool and locker rooms. Okay, so that's the main tour of the school. So let's talk a little bit more about Frances. Now, Frances is a new witch, but she's quite powerful. She comes from a long line of witches. So I figured today we would play around with Frances and see what kind of trouble she gets into with the spells she knows. Not only that, I did put some mods into the game. I have the Disaster and Blessings mod in, which will allow me to do even more spells. Some of them may lead to death. Let's hope she can contain herself and not murder anyone. And as I record this, we have only 20 days until Halloween, and I am so excited. I am ready to cause chaos and mayhem, so let's get into it. Also, I think she can cast some spells on herself, but I think they're good spells. I don't think you can cast bad spells on yourself, can you? That would suck if you could, disaster. Oh, she could burn herself? Oh, no. Okay, so with the disaster and blessings mod, she could hurt herself. I don't want to hurt myself. I want to give myself nice things. Okay, so these are charms. So these are all good things. There's a bladder charm, good luck charm, hunger charm, hygiene charm, love charm, and a sunlight charm. I don't know what that one does. Um, Let's give ourselves like all these charms really quickly so like we're happy. So first, let's do this uh, sunlight charm. Melanin be popping. <laughs> oh, glow. Oh, look at that melanin pop, bitch. You do your thing. Let's do this bladder charm. Like, what is her motives looking like right now? Her motives are actually pretty good. She doesn't really need anything that has to do with, like, her motives. Let's just see. Um, Let's try this love charm and this good luck charm. Let's do So, love charm. Let's see. Fuck, boys. Be gone -ish. Okay, so now she's been blessed with the love charm for a whole day. Oh, what does it say? She actually getting moodlets for this. Francis has a heart that's about to explode with passion. Cupid got his bow trained on whoever she talks to next. Really? Ooh. We got to find, like, a boy for her to, like, fall in love with. Ooh, her magical powers are waning because we've been using up, like, a lot of her powers. Well, we're going to cheat her with more powers because I don't have time for our powers to, like, regen over time. Um, but the sunlight. Bathed in sunlight, it feels like the sun is reaching down and giving Francis a great big hug. That's pretty cool. Let's try another charm. Um, let's try this good luck charm. In Money is coming on the first. Well, that's a good luck charm for me. Okay, is there a moolah for this good luck charm? Okay, let's see. Good, Feeling lucky. Today is Francis's lucky day. Who knows what good will happen? Okay, cool. So her power is almost like used up completely. So magical power critical. I don't know how you would raise it naturally. Magic power critical. Francis has cast too many spells and is almost out of magical power. Her spells are likely to fail unless she waits for her magic power to regen 
or use the essence of magic elixir. A lap or two around the broom arena will help as well. Okay, so she needs to ride on a broom. I don't even think she has a broom. So we need to get her like a broom arena. Where the heck are we gonna put it though? So there's our broom arena. Um, I think they'll just give you a broom when you use it, but I wanna give her a broom because I didn't know that she like needed all these things. So let's see. Where's like the broom stuff? Broom? Broom, broom. Okay. Here's brooms. Okay, so like this is the most expensive broom. The Zoom Sweeper Pegasus. That looks cool. So you need a broom stand just to place this broom. Okay, so we're gonna put the broom stand in her dorm room. Just so it's like, oh hey, this is hers, you know, whatever. Um, oh shoot, is there enough room in her dorm to put the broom stand? I hope so. Okay, that works. I think that only works because, okay, that works. So now let's put down her broom. Let's see how this broom look. Oh, this broom is cute. I haven't watched P Harry Potter in so long. I need to watch that. So let's get her broom in her pocket and see if we can regen her power without cheating for a little bit. Cause um, I do want to hurt people. I mean, I just want to test out my powers for a little bit. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, we could do stunt ride or joy ride. Let's do some stunt riding because I haven't seen any riding. Like, I don't know. When Supernatural first came out, I was just like, okay, I like vampires and I kind of like werewolves and everything else in there was just gravy, but I never used them. I should do something with fairies too. And I plan on doing something with aliens because I never done that either. Maybe I'll do like a huge Supernatural house at some point. So she's just going through the gym area. We're gonna come back for you guys because we're gonna mess with y'all. We're gonna make y'all feel bad about yourselves. We're gonna mess with your life and it's gonna be fun. Her power already went up some and she didn't do anything. So I guess it doesn't regen that slowly but I figured it would take like a long time. I figured it would take like at least a day. Oh, she wants to ride on her magical broom so let's check this out. Okay. You know what? It almost feels like Quidditch. Are you allowed to play Quidditch if there's other witches who can fly? I don't think so. I had to zoom out. She's flying all over the place. Oh, now she's done? Okay, so now we know we can ride our broom if we need, like, more energy to mess with people. Okay, so this is our teacher, Mr. Howard. He came upstairs. He's probably thinking, like, why are you not in class, young lady? And that's why we're going to curse you because you shouldn't have came here. <laughs> okay, so there's lots of curses to choose from um i want to say like like i don't feel like hunger is a bad curse unless it makes you starve to death does it kill you no it can't be bladder probably make you pee yourself i'll use that on one of her like classmates because that's embarrassing let's do the totification curse on our english teacher uh-oh we got him in our sights uh-oh it's about to go down sir Ooh, we about to make you into a frog. <laughs> he riveted. This fool riveted. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought, like, he would, like, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know. Ah! So, like, he's a frog now. Like, how, oh, oh, let's see. Let's see. How long does this frog thing last? It doesn't say when it ends. Is he a frog forever? Ugh, ugh, turns out being a toad is actually far easier than popular opinion would have you believe. All Mr. Howard needs is a nice swamp full of yummy flies. Receiving a special kiss or a sunlight charm will remove this horrible curse. Wait, wait. If he does not receive this so-called special kiss or like a sunlight charm, this lasts forever? What? No one should have that power. What if like your sim is like an NPC? Well, not your sim, but what if the sim is an NPC and you curse them? If they live alone and no one ever kisses them, they're told forever. That is jacked up. Can I feed him a fly? Can I feed him something? No. I'm not even gonna like fix the curse. Can he eat flies? If I click on him, can he eat a fly? He's not... Oh, doesn't say anything about eating a fly. I was hoping he would want to eat flies. He wants to perform a stunt show for tips. But you're not magic, bitch. You're basic. So, let's see. Who else can I mess with? Ooh. 
Y'all are close by. Um, so this is one of her classmates. Her classmate name is Claire. And Claire just happens to be dating the boy that our girl Frances has a crush on. So I'm going to curse her as well. And I'm thinking the bladder curse would be fun. So let's go downstairs and get her. I can't believe we turned. I feel like that would be like detention for the rest of your life. Because you can't just be turning your teachers into frogs and thinking you're going to get away with it. Oh my god, he's ribbiting! Wait, did y'all hear that? I'm going to stay with him for a couple of minutes. Did you hear him ribbiting? Ribbit again, sir, please. Oh, she came up here? Okay. He's ribbiting! Uh-oh. Ooh, okay, so... She's like, somebody stinks. Who Who is it that stinks? Is it the frog that stinks? She has to pee so bad. Oh, peed on yourself. Em ew, ew, it's almost on our shoe. The frog's embarrassed for her. The frog said, you stink, bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. Okay, we're going after um Sabrina. We're just going to tell her a joke. If she's rude to us, though, like, we're going to curse her. If she's nice to us, we'll treat her nicely, though. I love how we are foregoing class just to humiliate people and damage their lives. <laughs> like, I want to test out everything, so I want to do something either nice or mean, whatever. I just want to get through everything. I want to get through all the EA curses and charms and spells so she's telling her joke about bad tub. She's like, you stink and you should get in the tub. Okay, so chick is rude. First kiss. Wait, what? How can we be her? Oh, oh no. This is the first person she talked to. Is that what it is? This is the first person she talked to. I mean, she cast spells, but she didn't talk to anyone. So like she's she likes this girl now. She wants to have her first kiss with her. Oh my god, this is kind of awkward. But okay, like we're in love now, <laughs> apparently. So she actually loves her. This is this is so weird. They're actually in love right now. But she barely likes this girl. Okay, so I'll be nice to her then. I should have thought out who I talked to, but that was the person she wanted to talk to. So maybe that's the person she wanted to fall in love with. So let's cast, no, let's not cast a spell because... The only spell is fire and ice, and I don't think either one of those are a very nice thing to do to the person you're in love with. Um, let's do a charm for her. I, I mean, I don't know what a good charm for her would be. She was working out before, so let's give her a hygiene charm so she won't smell, because I think she stinks. No, she doesn't stink. It's her bladder that needs help. Let's give her a bladder charm then. We're just going to be nice. We're going to be mean to other people, though, but we're going to be nice to her, because apparently we love her for some reason. So let's do a bladder charm and make her happy. Why is she like automatically scared? Like we love her and she loves us. Magic is waning. I'm just gonna use a cheat to remove the moodlet so that her power will come all the way back up. There we go. So now it's raining. Oh wait, special things happen when it rains. So we're gonna have to go outside, but luckily we only have to go like right here across the street. So, and we're gonna teleport her, cause she's a witch, why not teleport? You know that's a cheat and not actually a witch ability, but whatever. So when it rains, you can use this totem, which I've never used. And it pops up all the time and it actually, it ruins all my let's plays cause the symbol for it shows up when I'm trying to do machinimas. But I've never had a good use for it. So here we go. Since she's a witch, she can use the bewitching rain on this totem. And um, I think everyone gets one. I think, like, fairies get one, vampires, werewolves. We're not talking about them. We're talking about her. So bewitching rain. So I think this rain will give her, like, extra power. I guess if her, like, ability was, like, really weak, it would give her more. Oh, snap. Its eyes are blinking. What? What? What the heck is happening? Like, I don't understand. Is she draining power from it? Is she giving power to it? What is happening? Oh my god, what did we do? She has been gifted with the bewitching ring. Okay, so I guess it can fail sometimes, and this time it worked. 
Like this thing had, she's like, she put like so much into this thing. Wow, okay, it has like glowing green eyes. Ooh, the rain is green. Ooh, does it make green puddles? I was just curious. I don't see any green puddles though. But really though, the rain turned green. See, now I'm very curious about doing something with like fairies and werewolves and vampires because I I don't experience this in my normal life. So, okay. Can we do anything else? No, we can't do anything else with it. She wants to get ice cream cone. No, we're going back. To it's still shaking. That's a little bit disconcerting. But do we get a mood lit for it? What does it do? Okay, here it is. The green rain. Bewitching rain. This magical rain compels Sims to move in strange ways. It does not soak the skin Yet, it does cleanse the soul. What does that mean? What? Cleanses the soul? I don't want to, I don't want to do any cleansing. Unless it's on my face, because I love facials. But that's not the point. The point is, we're going to go and we're going to, like, take advantage of this rain while we have it. Um, We have some people down here. I'm hoping, wait a minute. Look at their body language. Are they flirting with each other? Oh, hell no. That's my girl. No, you you saw you saw their pipe, and now they're walking off together somewhere. Where are they going? Okay, they're gonna go watch piano now. But they were flipping. Oh, see, uh, see, so attraction, attraction. That's what it is. They were trying to flirt. I saw it. Now I have to curse her because she tried play me, and that's not fair. So I'm gonna make her smelly, and him, I'm going to use that um. That ice blast, if I can. I don't know what ice blast does, but I'm assuming that a sim would not like it, so I'm going to do it on them. And if my power starts to go down, I'm gonna walk outside into this rain and see if that helps me regain my power. I wonder how long the rain will last. I'm glad it doesn't make you like soaking wet though, that's cool. So let's do the spell, cause you're unfaithful ho, even though we don't know each other and we only like fell in lust with each other at first sight. Okay, what did I do to her? Okay, so now she stinks. So I guess she just needs to take a shower. But let's find this boy who was flirting with our love and ruin his life. We'll probably only be able to do like two or three spells and then we'll have to go into that rain. I guess we could go on the roof to go into the rain as well. Okay, so he's coming over here so we can curse him. That is polite, not making us go all the way around the world to curse you. So let's see what this ice spell does. Fuck boy, be gone Oh, did we do fire? I meant ice, I meant ice, I meant ice. I didn't, I didn't, I meant ice, I meant ice. Oh my gosh, I meant ice. I didn't mean to set him on fire. Um. Uh, ooh, I meant ice, my bad. I thought I clicked ice. Come back, come back. We'll put you out. He's like running to her like I'm on fire. She's talking to the toad teacher. He ran to his sour. He's smart. Oh, good. I'm glad he's not going to die. Oh, my goodness. Is the toad teacher flirting with his... She's a skank. She's flirting with... She smells and she's talking to the frog. She's like the worst person ever i'm going to set her on fire <laughs> you know what if she wants to act like a frog she can become a frog too she is no princess she is the frog oh my god i can hear the teacher like like making that croaking noise all the way from out here i don't know who's playing the piano but they're doing it well okay fuck girl be gone it's oh my god oh my god Apparently all toads aren't green. Oh my god! Wow, she's a brown toad now. So we have a green toad with big old yellow eyes, but not as circular. Like her eyes are much bigger. Like he's like a wait, are they falling in love now? What the actual? Z. No, he's like, I bet you're smart. She's like, I'm a frog. Let's get him a charm, because he seems nice. We'll just do a sunlight charm on him. Nothing mean yet. We're coming back for you, though. You put the fire out, but I'm gonna come at you with this ice now. See, you didn't do anything wrong, so we didn't mess with you that badly. But you, sir, you... I'm sorry about the whole fire thing, but we're gonna hurt you now. Oh my god, he has, like, icicles hanging off his ears and his nose. Oh, they're kind of like earrings. 
That's cute. I kind of like that. Why can't we have ice earrings all the time? Okay, whatever. We got to re... Oh, that's right. I don't want to, like, just cheat to give her back her, her uh, magic. Let's go upstairs and see if we can get in this rain and regen our powers naturally. Anyway, he's, like, icy. He's cold. Like, there's, like, icy condensation and, and snowflakes falling off of him. I mean, what does this do? He, he, oh, so cold, so cold, so very cold. It feels like Wes may never know warmth again. Okay, well, that's good. I don't want him to. So, I got her standing in this rain. Um, It does look like he's regening her power. Then again, her, her power does regen naturally. It's not doing it super fast if that's what this rain is for. And it's still... Wait a minute, is it still rain? Wait a minute, hold on. I don't think it's still bewitching rain. It doesn't look as green as it used to. Oh, I guess it's kind of green. Are you are you still making it rain green for me? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, you can summon it with other people? Well, that's nice. However, it doesn't seem to be regenerating her powers, like, very fast at all. Like, I was hoping, like, we step into it, and within, like, a few minutes or, or seconds in sim time, our powers would be back. And nope. Is going very slow, so regenning with cheats. There we go, and now we go back to torture folk. So we tortured this entire group of people in some way and fashion. Let's find more people to torture. This person who plays the piano, like they're cute and whatnot. Like I have nothing against them, but I do need to test out my powers. So I'm gonna do something nice for you. I'm gonna give you a charm. I'm gonna give you a luck charm. So the next person you fall in love with um, will kiss you and that'll be your first kiss. We might follow her too just to see how this plays out for her in real life. Everyone's like playing an instrument or is on the computer and I just want to get them off of those things so that they'll participate in real life. She's like, I'm coming for you, but it's a good spell so don't be afraid of me. Okay, so the next person she meets... She will fall in love with. So I want to stay far, far away from her because I already have one love. And if I have to, like, hurt another person over love, that would be bad. So here's Braxton. Let's try Braxton. So let's do a spell on him. He's kind of known as a fuckboy as well. Um, that's the silence. What, what is this? Okay, so let's try this curse now. Because I don't know what this does, so I'm quite interested. He's standing right there. That was just his unfortunate choice. No one told him to love music and be in the music room. So let's see what this does. Oh my god, it's bees! Wait, what? Oh wait, wait, what's happening to him? Oh my god! Is he dying? Did I kill him? Wait, Francis is feeling so hot you may want to keep her around the bathroom. From plagued sim? Did I give him the plague? The black plague? El plague bubonico? He's fatigued. Well, that's from his working out. Is he dying? I gave him the plague. What? Okay, I'm taking away her nausea. But that's some cray. How did I give this boy the plague? That's the boy she has a crush on. This girl is like rejecting him. So, let's, like, give her a curse. Let's make her peer herself in front of him because we I'm like sore. this boy. And we don't want him looking at anyone but us. And we're cursing with, like, the love spell so he falls in love with us. Oh, there's our principal. Principal is annoying. There's the secretary. She's annoying. I hope that the staff don't say anything about us cursing this student. Please pee on yourself in front of everyone so we can all laugh at you. Please don't pee on my shoe. Not on my shoe. Okay, great. Your pee went somewhere else. Thank you. Fantastic. No, I want him to fall in love with me. How would he, he fall in love with me if I don't cast spells on him? No one could love me without a spell. After this, we're going to have to regen her powers again. Yeah. I hate that the powers go away so quickly. We should have unlimited magic. We should draw magic from just earth and living. Okay, so we need to be the next person you talk to because, like, you love us. So we're going to ask you about your day because you love us now. 
She like, hey, like it's crazy. It's like someone cast a spell on you, and now you're feeling feelings you never felt before. He's like, you're right. I am feeling feelings I never felt before. But you're feeling it for me, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh my God, her first kiss from a boy she actually likes. So like we should be able to become boyfriend and girlfriend because she already liked him from the, like the beginning. Um, we're gonna let him go for now. There's a teacher here. You know, we're gonna charm our teacher because she's a nice lady. And I can already tell that her bladder is jacked up. I believe, right? Yeah, her bladder is jacked. Her hunger is jacked. She is actually our fellow witch. And we like her. So we're gonna be nice to her. And we're gonna give her um good hygiene and good hunger. Because she's our favorite teacher. Because she's a witch too. What? Our powers are getting in short supply. We need to give ourselves some, some like, charm. So now, like, she should be good for, like, ever in a day. There's no sleep charm. I would love a nighty-night nap charm. I need that for me. Okay, so her powers are totally drained. So we're going to fix that. And I'm just going to take away all her bad mood lids because... I don't want to waste a cycle of power on trying to fix her. But that is a good thing. If, if you think about it, if you have a witch in a normal gameplay and she could just, like, fix her hunger, fix her hygiene, fix her bladder, like, automatically, that's a really great gift. Let's see. Who else can I torture? Because best believe, I want to torture everyone. I mean, test my power out on everyone. So there's a girl over here. She's soaking wet in regular looking rain. Because that doesn't look like the green rain anymore. Yeah, I think the green rain is totally done. Yeah, his eyes aren't glowing anymore. I'm not going to bother him anymore. The, the bewitching rain was supposed to make people move in weird ways. I guess mess with them. I didn't see that. But then again, I wasn't watching everyone very closely. So, yeah, let me just go out here and pester these people. I actually want to start trying, like, deadly curses. So, even though we did something nice to Henry, we're going to do something bad to Henry now. Um, I want to be outside so it actually feels like I'm doing the curse. Because I think those things happen automatically. Like, it's not going to be a witchy spell, then all of a sudden, he's ugly. So, yeah. Are all these street lights on? Why does it feel so dark out here? Color, white, all lights. There's no brightness? Okay, fine. Maybe I shouldn't do the ugly one to him because we can't see his face. Make enemy with the next sim. Yeah, let's try that one. So now he's going to be enemy with the next sim he interacts with, which will most likely be her since they're playing a game together. She wants to go to bed. There's no rest for the wicked, honey. Haven't you learned? Let's see. Um, Find some students. Ah, unsuspecting students. Okay, Tristan is a nice sim. However, we are going to ruin his life. We're going to try this haunting curse because I forgot all about the haunting curse. Let's run inside and ruin his life. It's fun to ruin lives. You know what I'm in the mood for now? Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus fun. Oh, did he make food? Okay, I'm going to make him call everyone to a meal. So that everyone will try and gather in the same spot. So it'll be easier for me to curse them. I mean, test out my magic on my friends. <laughs> People are going to actually start to pee themselves, all, like, normally. Because, like, oh my god, her frog face is just too much. Like, he has free will. And he's, like, refused to make himself a meal or go to the bathroom. So that is all on him. I don't have to humiliate him. He... We'll do that himself. So now we're about to cast this curse on him, which is the haunting curse. Which I think this turns into a ghost. Oh my god, no it doesn't. Who is this dripping wet bitch? Wait, what? Who are you? Jacqueline Chamberlain. I thought the haunting curse was like, you know when you go into the haunted house and it's like, ooh, you're a ghost now for like a couple of hours. I thought we were going to make him into a ghost. But instead, there's an actual ghost bitch haunting him. Oh my goodness, does he know? He knows. Tristan looks like he just saw a ghost. Ooh, I didn't realize he would actually be haunted. There's a ghost chick now haunting the halls of Ivy Academy. I kind of want to just talk to him because it will make him pee himself just by talking to him. 
Or I could be nice and fix his bladder. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be a nice person. But then I'm gonna start killing folk. Because that makes me happy. And aren't I allowed to be happy? <laughs> Come here so I can like haunt your dreams and curse your life. Where did he go? See, he's trying to get to the food. I'm trying to cast a spell on you. I put a spell on you. And now you're gone, gone. <laughs> Damn, I really need to see Bette Midler in Hocus Pocus right now. And Sarah Jessica Parker. And the other lesser witch sister. And Binks the cat. Because I like him too. Okay, so we're about to curse him. You're like two free plates of food. I would eat it if I cared, but I don't. Hunger game on fleek. Let's fix his bladder and be nice. Wait, that did fix him, correct? He looked like he was about to have a heart attack. Oh, wait, did we curse him with bad bladder? Oh, no. I meant to curse him with, like, a good one. Okay, I actually kind of feel bad about that. Let's kill him and then pretend like that whole mess never happened. Um, oh, let's make him ugly. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. So, he stinks and he's ugly. Wait, let's see his face. Oh, my God. That's his face. He was nerdy to begin with, but at least he was like cute nerdy. Now he's ugly nerdy. Oh my god, no. Can we fix his face? Is there no make zombify? Starve to death. At this point, I feel like death would be better. Mummify. Oh my goodness. Yes, let's mummify someone. So these are the disasters and blessings one. And I don't seem to be blessing anyone. I'm about to turn him to a zombie. God. Okay, so he's a zombie. Oh, he has, he's a peaceful zombie now. Okay. Pee on yourself, zombie. Caught with a naughty reputation. Wait, what? He's my man. Who he being naughty with? <gasps> he's flirting with the bitch I gave us. Wait a minute. I cursed her with the love spell. No one told you to talk to my boyfriend. You wouldn't even have fallen in love with him if I hadn't given you that. See, now we're going to hurt people. Because of things like this. Now I have to kill my one true love. Who I cursed into loving me. Are they kissing? They're kissing each other. Why? Why would you do this? Why would you hurt me? Why? Now I have to um, hurt my boyfriend. Which I did not want to do. But now I have to do it. Let's see. How will I hurt him? Let's turn him into ice. He went cross-eyed. Oh, he's turning blue. He's like, he's like, oh no, how unfortunate he is frozen. Oh, sad. Um, wait a minute. I can't let this chick get away with it. She's trying to like go light bonfires now. <laughs> no. Can I summon a meteor shower just on her? Because that would make me, okay, yes. Meteor shower hurricane? There's meteor, there's some meteor, and then there's like hurricane meteor. I want to get her struck by lightning because it's actually raining. We'll do the meteor to somebody else. She looks scared. You should be, bitch. You kissed my man, whore. Why has she not been struck by lightning yet? Strike her again. There we go. Yay, I feel better about life now. Oh, did she get struck again? Oh, no, she died. Oh, no. She came back to life, though. Oh, she's, like, really dying now. Oh, no. I never wanted this to happen. I wish you could see me and see how remorseful I am. My cup runneth over with remorse. And gin. Mm, damn, that's good. Anyway, I feel so bad that she was like struck with lightning to death. There we go. There's that dead bitch. Because she was standing and living, and that was making me confused. Should I cure this toad bitch? Because she's the only person I've loved who has not betrayed me. So I'm going to charm her with sunlight so we can cure her. She wants to be a doctor. Look with a wordy cause. We're like mourning her, but it's all fake. Grim seems angry. I don't know why. People like mourning this loss. I'm fuckless. Um, so let's cast the sunlight spell on this chick. But she needs to stop crying though, so we can help her. 
We're gonna fix you, so you should be happy. You won't have to be a toad anymore. So this should cure her, like, toadyism. Yay, she's like a normal person. Like, all those flies are, like, done now. She never has to eat a fly again. Hold on. She's, like, running away. Like, we just helped you. She's like, I stink, though. Good call. Do take that shower, honey. Um, let's see. There's, there's more spells. I have to hurt more people. Oh, is he not there anymore? Did he melt into a puddle? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's just, like, very blue. Okay. Well, as long as he learned his lesson. Let's see. Who else can I torture? I tortured you, but I feel like it wasn't enough now. So I'm going to torture you again. Let's see. So blessed. I think blessed just makes you feel lucky, and that's boring. Let's make him enemies with the next sim he talks to. Who will that be? I don't know. He's a zombie. Am I running out of people to torture? Never that. There's um a girl, Becca Wong. Wait a minute, Becca. Don't you try and escape me. I don't want to do a shaka bra with the Grim Reaper. She's running off the bed. Oh, so you a good girl now. It's your bedtime now. So let's see. Um, How should we haunt her? Starve to death? That's not a spell. That's just... That's what you call it? Um, I forgot. A cru That's not a Cruciatus curse. That's not, that's a really painful curse. That's a Vada Kedavra. And we're not going to do that. Surround with lightning and meteor. Oh, that's just too much. That's an overkill. What's torture? I don't know what it is, but let's see how it works. So she looks terrified. There's like fleas and bees and stink and bugs. And she's like freaking out. She's acting like she's on fire. She's about to pass out. Wait a minute. What? Wait, hold on. Heart-wrenching scene. Heartbroken. Oh, it's just, it's the end of the world? <laughs> okay, apparently this torture gives you every bad moodlet. She's like infested, haunted, and affected. I don't feel bad though. Is this, will this kill her? This might kill her. Because all her motives are bad enough. This could kill. Let's watch and see. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not funny. Coughing fit? Yes, let's see this coughing fit. She's passed the fuck out. Let's leave her alone. Even though I still don't feel bad. Okay, people are like sad because like the Grim Reaper. Blah, blah, blah. Sadness and misery. Blah, blah, blah. Um, You're my fellow witch, so I'm not going to harm you right now. Not right now. Um, I need to harm him again because he tried to ruin my love life by saying that that spell that we had between us wasn't enough. So I think I want the surrounding lightning and meteor. Wait, no, I wanted to try that hurricane though. My game froze for a second. It would not press play. Something makes me feel like I should not be in his surrounding area. Wait, oh shoot, no. I need to get away because there's meteors too. I kind of want him to go outside just because if something bad happens, I don't want it to happen near me. You feel me? You feel You feel me. You know. You know what it's like to be selfish. Yeah, you go outside with that bull. I think, I, I didn't see a meteor happen. I just saw lightning. So I'm going to send for like a meteor to come and kill him dead. So we should be getting like a thing about like something in the sky. I do want to pay the bills though. We got bills today. He's like burnt. He's in his tidy whities, which are now black now. He's like cold. Complain about dirtiness to a dead person? What dead person are you complaining to? Oh, right. That other chick was haunted. So there's more ghosts around here. Okay. Why are you all undressed? Oh, that's the one who's haunting her. Okay. That makes me happy. She wants to kiss that guy. You'll never get your first kiss now. Why isn't he being struck dead by a meteor? I need that in my life. There we go. That's what I needed from you. Wait, why are so many people running outside to this meteor? No, no, don't do it. Don't do, I guarantee you, you won't like it. Don't do it. Francis wonders why it suddenly got dark all of a sudden. Well, guess what? I ain't going to the darkness, cause I know better. This ghost is there, there are cars here. Becca's running away. I wanted our 
good for nothing boyfriend to be right in the midst of it. So I need him to teleport his ass right there to the middle of the... Uh, that's right. Be right there and watch it happen to you, sir. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. It's getting closer. There... Oh, no. I... Oh, my God. That's huge. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. The cars. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. And she's like, I'm going to just be going home now. Oh. Oh, no. Someone should be brave and put that fire out or call the fire department. She's sick for some reason. Is she pregnant? She's plagued. Why is she plagued? I only plagued one person. She must have been talking to the plague dude. I think I just ruined our school. Uh, another student is dead. You have worse problems. You are ugly as hell. You have worse problems. Oh, but we can collect all this, make some money. So I think I caused a lot of chaos, death, and destruction. I want to cause more because once you have some, you just can't get enough. Oh, he's, he's a frightening zombie, but he's a zombie with snappy outfit and great hair. So you can't be too mad at being a zombie who's like cursed by that. So let's see, what else can we do? with these um disasters and blessing make super happy i didn't temporarily ghostify anyone ghostify oh there we go see now he's a ghost see that's what i expected when they said haunt i thought he would be that look at our little zombie walking around with his coffee cup so there's one last thing i want to do with the witches before i end this let's play and that's i want to have a duel off like obviously um my little witchy Francis has been overusing her power. Like, it's not a good thing. She's, like, being bad. In fact, we shouldn't do it outside because I don't want to get hit with a meteor. Let's go somewhere where um death is not imminent. Let's go to the rooftop. How about that? Let's both teleport both the witches to the teleport. Now, her, like, energy is really sucky. So let's just crank that up. Hers, hers isn't as great. I don't want it to feel like, oh, like they had an unfair, somebody had an unfair advantage because everyone's motives are good. So I'm going to make moves static. Fix up all her power. There we go. Same for her. Get rid of all her sadness and her woes, which may ruin her power. So now both their power and everything is on playing field. So I want them to have a witch's duel because I've never done that one either. But I've heard about it. So challenge to spell casting duel. So obviously our Francis has been a very, very, very bad witch. So I feel like she'll have to be punished for that. But obviously she has to lose this duel to be punished because if she's a more powerful witch than her teacher, then her teacher can't punish her. Nothing like that will kill you. Just something that will teach you a lesson. So let's do this duel. Firefighter is like trying to give us a ticket for like calling, but whatever. So this is it. Both of our motives are good. Our powers are full. All right, time to duel. That was like a light spell. Oh, that, that one hit her badly. Oosh, the teacher is strong. Okay. Okay, I see you. We trying though. Oh, okay, but look at how look how we come through the flames. Wait, oh my god, the teacher won. We lost the duel, lost the spell casting duel. Francis lost this one, but it could be worse. Much worse. Wow, could she have died during that? That would suck. Um, won the spell casting duel. Boom. Miss Dawn magically served someone else. Nothing beats the swell of pride and accomplishment. After winning a spell casting duel. So now we have to punish Frances. She was a very, very bad witch. Because of her, I think two people died today. Or at least one did. No, two definitely died. So we're going to have to punish her now. So we're going to punish her with a curse. We can't use certification. She's immune to that magic because I think she's a witch herself. So we can't do that to her. Uh, we'll give, let's see. Let's give her the bladder curse. And you can't blame this peeing yourself thing on the rain. 
So there you go, Francis. Humiliation served. Re revenge is best served cold. Now she's super embarrassed, and that will teach her to use her powers for bad. So hopefully Francis will grow up to be a good witch and not a bad witch. Well, you guys, I think I am done with this Let's Play. I had so much fun playing with a witch. It almost makes me want to, like, make a witch sim and, like, have a family of witches. I think that's actually a thing, like, the Immortal Witches Challenge or the Immortal Sister Challenge or some such nonsense. I might look into it because I like mayhem and murder. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. It was another entry in the Terra Thursday Let's Play that I've been running because I'm so excited for Halloween. Oh, my God. And we're so, so, so close to Halloween. Halloween is so close, I can taste it. So, I love you guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye!